today I'm going to demonstrate and explain my rain cycle inside Unreal Engine 5, in which the rain will randomly trigger on and off. As well as the sound of the rain being toggled, I have the visual effect of the rain also being controlled, using Niagara effects. For the sound of the rain, I am using a single sample of rain. This is being triggered by my meta sound, named rain underscore ms. On play, the sample start time is randomly selected, before playing the sound using the wave player. This wave player is patched into the ADSR envelope in order to create a small fade in time of 2 seconds. In this meta sound, I have created another trigger input called stop rain. This will be used to stop the rain. When this trigger parameter is called, it goes to the trigger sequence node. It first triggers the release of the ADSR envelope, creating a fade out, which is set to 2 seconds. The second part of the trigger sequence is patched to a delay, which is set to the same duration as the ADSR release. After the delay is completed, the meta sound will be stopped. In order to create the visual aspect of the rain, I used the Niagara effects. I used the fountain shape, then adjusted numerous parameters such as the spawn rate, to give the illusion of heavy or light rain. I also adjusted the sprite size to create the small droplets of the rain. The lifetime of the rain particles were also randomised. Instead of placing the Niagara effects inside the level, I added it to the third person character. This way the Niagara effects follows the player. Using the level blueprint, I came up with this design to trigger the rain on and off randomly. On the event begin play node, I cast to the third person character. This way I can access the Niagara effects. This then triggers the flip flop node. At this point, the node cycles through A and B. When A is selected, I activate the Niagara effects, followed by adding the audio component, that being my rain meta sound. This is followed by a print string stating that rain has been selected. At the end of this blueprint, there is a re-triggerable delay, whose time is set to be between 1 and 10 seconds, thus giving a random duration for the rain occurring or not occurring. After this delay, the blueprint loops back to the flip-flop node, where another selection is made. When B is selected, a trigger sequence is executed. The first output of this causes the Niagara effects to be deactivated, followed by my trigger parameter, Stop Rain, being called followed by a print string stating the rain has not been selected, which is patched into the re-triggerable delay, starting the loop once more. The second part of the trigger sequence resets the do once node, allowing the rain meta sound to be re-triggered later on. <laughs> 